be the most requested video ever. Today I'm sharing with you the best ink saving printers for crafters and by the end of this video I will share my recommendations for the printers that will help you create beautiful projects but will also save you some money on ink. I'm Amber Kempker Stell, and I'm the founder of Yayday Paper Co., where every month we release printable bundles of stationery, stickers, cards, and crafting projects, all things that you can create at home with something you're probably already familiar with your printer. Here on our YouTube channel, I share lots of tips, tricks, and tutorials about how to use your printer. So if this sort of thing interests you, I would highly recommend that you subscribe, hit the notification bell because there is so much great stuff coming your way. I can't wait for you to be a part of the Yayday family. When it comes to crafting with your printer, your main expense is going to be ink. And I definitely have my favorite crafting printers, but whenever I share them with you, your main question is, how much does the ink cost? And how often do I have to replace the ink cartridges? Uh, hey, I have a fun printing fact. Did you know that in Moto Restaurant in 2005, Chef Amaro Cantu began printing sushi on a Canon i560 inkjet printer using edible ink? Some paid as much as $240 to sample his creations. She's right. Ink can be expensive, but I can't tell you exactly how much it's going to cost you to run your printer because you have your own specific needs and your own ways of printing projects. But what I can do is do all the homework for you and tell you everything I know about how these printers use ink, how much paper they go through, and that's exactly what I'm going to do today. Today, I will be reviewing a total of five Canon printers. Now, before you say, but what about the other printer brands? Here's the thing. I've done a lot of printing and I've tested lots of different brands of printers. For me, Canon has been the most consistently great printer that I've experienced using. When it comes to Canon, they're known for photography, right? And so their printers are kind of made with that in mind and they're made so that you can print beautiful photos and beautiful prints. That's why I love using it for crafting projects. So with that said, let's dive right into the best ink saving printers for crafters. I just made printers and crafting and ink sound really exciting. <laughs> now, before we can talk about the specific printers, I do want to walk you through how we decided to test each one. First, we wanted to test print quality. We wanted to weed out any contenders that just weren't going to work for crafting needs. As crafters, we're usually printing projects that are a little more intricate or have really colorful illustrations. We're not just printing out simple documents. To test print quality, we printed this rainbow illustration from our Yay Day Retro Floral Collection. We printed it on all the printers to see how it turned out. We also wanted to test out different materials. The fun thing about crafting with your printer is that you don't just have to print on paper. You can print on lots of things from thin cardstock, thick cardstock, you can even print on fabric. So with that in mind, we tested out a bunch of different materials, five to be exact. We wanted to make sure they didn't get stuck and that the printers could handle them. Here's a look at the five materials that we tested. Printable fabric, we used this heavyweight inkjet cotton canvas, sticker paper, I love this weatherproof matte sticker paper from online labels. We also printed on 32 pound photo matte paper, which is lightweight, and then an even lighter weight photo matte paper that's 29 pounds. I also really wanted to test on a heavyweight cardstock. And the best way for me to show you that it's heavyweight is to make you listen. Here's what I mean. This, that's a thin piece of paper. You hear it? This is a really thick piece of cardstock. See? So we tested on this to see how it would do on each printer. Our last test was the empty the tank test. We printed five different Yay Day printables over and over and over again until the printers ran out of ink. For the printers that had a color cartridge and a black cartridge, we printed until one of those cartridges was empty because sometimes one was empty and the other still had ink. It's also important to mention we kept all of the settings the same for all of the printers. Uh, hey, another fact over here. Did you know that Canon entered the Guinness Book of World Records with the world's longest digital photo print? It printed at 309 feet long. It was printed in Germany on weather resistant paper and used 1.37 liters of ink. For the printers that we'll be testing, I selected three printers that are a part of the Canon Pixma print plan. We'll talk more about that plan specifically when we talk about the printers, but it's a great way to save on ink costs. Here's a quick overview though of how it works. With the Canon Pixma print plan, you pay a monthly fee based on how many pages you print. 
The fee ranges from $3.99 if you print 30 pages a month up to $9.99 if you print 200 pages a month. When your printer is running low, you'll automatically receive ink in the mail to place into your printer. For more information on this plan, I'm gonna give you a link below so that you can check out all of the FAQ because there's lots of important questions being answered there that will help clear up everything you might need to know. The first printer we'll review is the Canon PIXMA TR7020 printer, which is eligible for the Canon PIXMA print plan. Here's a rundown of the features on this printer. It's got front and rear loading for your paper. If you wanna know more about why I love rear loading on a printer, check out my other video about the best printers for crafters. This also has an auto loading document tray, which is really nice if you wanna do a lot of copies or a lot of scanning all at once. It also has a scanner and a copier, and it can print borderlessly in 11 different sizes, ranging from the smallest at 3.5 inches square, all the way up to eight and a half by 11. At the time of this recording, this printer retails for $149.99. And now that we've got all those details out of the way, let's talk about the ink results we had. Print quality was really beautiful for the thinner papers. Even on the sticker paper, we had great results. I love how this printer worked on the fabric. You'll notice it's a little darker, but that's because this fabric is actually a tan color rather than bright white. When it came to thicker materials, it did a beautiful job on that thick 96 pound cardstock and gave a really vibrant print on the design of this rainbow print. On the borderless print, I did notice some lines in the print, but they're very faint and hard to notice. When it comes to printer materials, this printer was able to handle everything we threw at it. Now let's talk about our empty the tank test. For this printer, ink costs $39.99 for both cartridges. And when we tested it, it ran out of black ink after 48 pages. Just to give you a reference, here's a look at the pages we were printing. We printed these over and over again until the printer ran out of ink. By my math and the $39.99 in-store ink costs for this printer, you would spend about $80 a month if you wanted to print 100 pages per month. If you wanted to join the Canon PIXMA print plan, you could cut that cost down to $5.99 a month for 100 pages, which feels like a nice savings for ink. In yearly costs, this would add up to approximately $960 per year by buying in-store at that $39.99 price, or about $72 a year if you use the Canon PIXMA print plan. To me, it seems like a great savings to use the Canon PIXMA print plan if you're gonna be doing all of this printing. Now remember, these are all estimates. We did our testing by printing the same five designs over and over and over again, which is probably different than the way you will use your printer. Hopefully though, these numbers give you an idea. The second printer we'll review is the Canon PIXMA TR4720. This printer is also eligible for the Canon PIXMA print plan. The features on this printer include a front loading tray only. There is no rear loading tray on this printer. Also have a scanner and a copier, and it has that auto document feeder at top, which is great for loading lots of documents or doing lots of copying at one time. With this printer, you can print borderlessly on five different sizes, with the smallest being four by six, all the way up to eight and a half by 11. And when it comes to the quality of these prints, I was really happy when it was printing on thinner papers. Even the sticker paper did really well. Even the fabric did really well. But with thicker papers, I did notice some lines and the colors weren't quite as bright as I would have liked. My hunch is that with a front loading tray only, thicker materials are a little more taxing on this printer. So depending on the way you use your printer as a crafter, this may or may not be the best fit. Now let's talk about the empty the tank test. Ink for this printer is $26.99 for both cartridges. And this printer ran out of ink after about 40 pages. At that point, we didn't have any more black ink, so we stopped printing. Now let's do that same math based on 100 pages per month. If you were to purchase your ink in store or online, you're gonna spend about $54 a month. If you're part of the Canon PIXMA print plan, that's $5.99 per month. If we're talking about yearly costs, that's gonna add up to about $650 a year for in-store purchase of ink, or if you're part of the Canon PIXMA print plan, you're spending $72 a year. All right, we're up to our third printer in our awesome ink saving printers for crafters review. I gotta come up with a better name for that one. It's getting really long. For our third printer, we're reviewing the Canon PIXMA TS6420, which again is part of the Canon PIXMA print plan. For the features on this printer, 
We've got a front and a rear loading tray. There's also a scanner and a copier. And when it comes to borderless printing, you can choose from 10 different sizes, ranging from 3.5 by 5 all the way up to 8.5 by 11. At the time of this video, this printer retails for $129.99. When it comes to printing quality, this printer is almost identical to that first printer we reviewed. It was the TR7020. Remember that one? Go back and watch it if you don't. Both printers gave beautiful results. Let me show you how it came out on this printer. On all of the prints, I was really impressed with how beautifully they came out, even on that fabric. I was also really happy with how smooth that borderless print came out. On the greeting card, the colors were super saturated and really smooth. Ink for this printer retails at $39.99 for both the color and the black cartridge. This is what they'll look like. We ran out of ink after 48 pages of printing for this printer, so when you look at the overall ink costs, it's identical to the first printer we reviewed. If you're printing 100 pages a month, you're going to spend about $80 a month on ink if you buy it in store or online. If you're part of the Canon Pixma print plan, you'll spend $5.99 a month. Over the course of a year, that adds up to $960 in costs on ink if you buy in store, or about $72 a year if you're part of the Canon Pixma print plan. And I'm gonna say it one more time, these are just estimates. The numbers I'm giving you are not going to be exact for your wallet, but they should give you an idea of some good ways to save on ink. Uh, hey, I got another fact over here. <sighs> Did you know that ink is one of the most expensive liquids on the planet? It can be more expensive than the fuel we used on space shuttles. Now that we've covered those Canon Pixma print plan printers, I did want to give you some options on tank printers. The difference is tank printers take their ink from a bottle rather than a cartridge. Neither of these printers is part of the Canon Pixma print plan, which does mean you'll be purchasing ink online or in store. But the nice thing is, with tank printers, the ink lasts a long time, so you will save a little bit of money. I have two Canon Mega Tank printers to review. I have the G620 and the G3260. The G3260 features rear-only paper loading. For me, that's a great option because I love rear paper loading on my printer. It also has a scanner and a copier, and for borderless printing, you have 10 options from 3.5 by 5 all the way up to 8.5 by 11. The retail on the G3260 printer is $199.99 at the time of this video. The print quality on this printer was beautiful. The colors were so vibrant and I was really impressed. On the thick cardstock, both the borderless and the bordered prints were really smooth and very bright. The same goes for all of the other prints we tested. Now let's talk about the empty the tank test. These were a little bit different. We printed 50 pages and quickly realized that these printers were not going to run out of ink anytime soon. So we stopped at 50 and then we noticed that the ink tanks were about a fifth of the way used up. So I used that math to estimate how many pages I could print with a full ink tank and how much it costs to maintain this printer. This printer takes four different colors of ink in bottles and those bottles will range in cost from $13 to $18. In total, to refill every tank, it's gonna cost you about $57. So if we return to our 100 pages per month usage, that's gonna give you about $250 a year in ink costs for this printer. Again, this is an estimation, and that's your yearly cost for ink on the G3260 printer. Now let's hop over to the G620 printer. This again is a mega tank printer which takes ink in bottles. Just like this printer, this features a scanner and a copier, a rear loading tray only, and you can print borderlessly in up to 10 different sizes. Those range from three and a half by five to eight and a half by 11. Those specifications are really identical on both of these printers. The retail cost on the G620 is $299.99 at the time of this video making it our most expensive printer. When we looked at the quality of these prints, I was really impressed again. Let me show you what they looked like. We got a really bright print with the patterned paper design. The stickers were beautiful, as were the rest of our prints.
Overall, I was really impressed by the G620 printer. The other nice thing about this printer is it was designed with photography in mind, so it does really well with printing photos. We even tested it out, and you guys, the vibrant clarity of this photo was incredible. Compared to the others, it was like leaps and bounds better. It's really great if you're a scrapbooker or you love to do memory keeping, this printer is for sure one to consider. Now let's talk about the empty the tank test for the G620. The same thing happened as before. We printed 52 pages and it was very obvious that we were not gonna run out of ink anytime soon. So instead of continuing the printing, we did the math based on what we saw in the ink tanks. They look like they're about one fifth of the way down. The G620 takes five different bottles of ink and they will cost $95 in total if you wanna fill the whole thing up from scratch. Now, using our 100 pages per month comparison, your total cost per year in ink costs for this printer will be about $450. Friendly reminder though, this is an estimate, and if you're printing simpler projects or just documents, your ink is gonna go a lot further. Hey, me again, I got another fact for you. You're over there talking about simple documents. Let me tell you about a not so simple document. The late Marvel Comics editor, Mark Grunewald's last wish was to be cremated and have his ashes mixed with the ink in the printing of a comic book. His wish was honored and his ashes were stirred into the ink of an issue of Squadron Supreme. Whoa. Whew. Now we have reached the end and I'm ready to give you my recommendations for which printers I'm going to be using here in the Yayday Studio. So in the end, here's what I've learned. The Canon Pixma print plan can save you a lot of money on ink compared to the cost of buying ink online or in stores. But if you're not interested in a monthly ink subscription, when you compare the costs of ink cartridges to the bottle ink that you use in a tank printer, the ink costs of a tank printer will absolutely save you money. Now for the two printers I loved the most. They're sitting right here in front of me. I did a blind comparison of all the prints we did. I looked at each one and without knowing which printer they came from, I chose my favorites. Without a doubt, I continually picked the same two printers over and over again for how well they did on all of the Yay Day prints we used. In the category of printers eligible for the Canon Pixma print plan, I found that the TS6420 and the TR7020 were pretty identical with how they did in their printing. The only real difference between the two is that one has that auto document feeder on top and the other doesn't. Since that auto document feature is not so important to me, I'm opting for the TS6420, which retails for $129.99. We even tested a photo print on this printer and it came out beautiful. In the category of tank printers, I was really surprised by the results. At first, I thought the G3260 was gonna be my pick. I loved the prints and they were beautiful. And I think I'd still feel that way if I had never compared it to this one. But then, upon closer inspection, I was so impressed with the G620. The bold colors, the crisp prints were so great and that photo printing is out of this world. I especially noticed a deeper, more saturated color from the G620, which I liked a lot. Let me show you an example. Here's our greeting card print on the TS6420 printer. It's beautiful. Here it is, the same print on the G620. They're almost identical, but you can see that the navy blue background is more saturated and deeper from the G620 printer. Again, both look great, but I was really impressed with the G620. And if you're looking for more creative ways to use your printer, make sure you're subscribed and you're following us right here on the YouTube channel for Yayday Paper Co. because there's always creative things going on. Or you can go to yaydaypaper.com and find us there. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Projects, but we'll so, oh, I was so close. Today I will be reviewing, that's a hard sentence. We are at the beginning of this video. This printer retail, retail, retails, of course, they want to honk the horn. Okay. A T at TR. So many names.